Hello friends, this is the second video of this series on elimination technique. UPSC had introduced a new pattern last year. Uh, there are around eight questions. So we had discussed the elimination technique that is applicable here in last video that is L1. And uh, this is just the continuation of last video. And I had received to elaborate this technique and to take more examples so i will apply this principle on all eight questions to show you the effectiveness of this technique and there is also one basic assumption that one elimination technique that is applicable this year may backfire next year so i am just discussing this principle so there were uh, options like this uh, pairs and you have to choose only one pair correct or two pair correct or three pair correct or four pair correct so if uh, no pair correct so that can be 4c0 so one way only no pair correct so then one pair correct or one uh, option correct so that can be four possible way 4c1 just i have applied this formula n factorial divided r factorial whole into n minus r factorial so suppose two pair correct so there can be six possible ways similarly three pair means four possible ways four pairs correct means four possible ways I mean, 4c4 4c3 like this way i have calculated so in this particular question uh, there are four options two, one pair correct two pair three pair and four pair that means there is no option like no pair correct so i have just neglected 4c0 so if you add this 4641 so there will be total 15 and from this 15 possible combinations the two pair correct means there can be six possible ways so the 40 percent chance that only two pair correct is the answer this is the 40 percent probability and it is the highest probability here so the best possible answer can be only two pairs correct and the actual answer to this question is also two pair correct that means option b so that means here through the probability model we have applied this principle and the effectiveness you can check here so this question is correct as per our elimination technique so next there are around seven more questions on this tech, uh, uh, seven more questions on similar lines that UPSC had asked last year so we will check one by one whether this elimination technique is applicable or not so i have analyzed and uh, i have found that uh, just i'm going through for your reference so this is question number 56 so there is three um, pairs given uh, three pairs given so this way you can analyze 3c0 3c1 3c2 3c3 so eight possible combination and here also 3c1 3c2 means 3 3 so the best possible answer can be 3c1 or 3c2 so if we apply 3c2 that means only two pair correct this is the actual answer only two pair correct so here also though we have only eliminated option a and b we have 50 50 only one pair correct or two pair correct because 3c1 3c2 is 3 and 3 so just i am taking only two pair correct that means here also this technique is, is applicable with 100 percent effectiveness why i have taken three here because three pairs given so there can be three possible ways three total three ways three pairs can be correct so from three suppose uh, zero pair correct so three c zero suppose from three uh, one pair correct so there can be three c one possible ways similarly three c two 3c3 so i have calculated this by applying that ncr formula 
so here also this elimination technique can be applicable though we have we are able to eliminate only two options here still we are left with b and c option so it is also applicable because we have eliminated 50 percent so i will go through next question third question this is one of the question question number 62 on the answer key of many institution, institutions reported institutions have given two states and some have given all four states so i am just ignoring this for the time being so total eight questions that were asked in by ups last year similar questions so i have just eliminated one question so i will i will apply this principle on seven questions so just moving to next question see this is question number 70 one pair two pair three pair four pair so how many pairs correct so here the elements technique is not applicable because here the actual answer is three pair correct so here our elements technique will not be applicable this can give you negative mark but i will show you in our next questions that out of eight i have ignored one question that is doubtful because um, the answer key of institution is varied and from that eight we are able to apply this principle effectively on five questions and two on two questions that has backfired so from seven it is successive successfully applicable on five questions and on two questions it has not gave you the required result that means you have got the negative mark so just i'm moving to my next question uh, this is the question number 88 so only two pair correct is the right answer that means here also our elimination technique is applicable and with 100 percent effectiveness so i'm moving to next question here question number 87 here only three pair correct so our element technique is not applicable that means you will get here negative so i will move to next question and after this question every question you will get the positive outcome see here question number 91 its answer is only two pair correct so with 100 percent effectiveness we have achieved this question number 92 its answer is also two pair correct that means here also you will get two marks so total uh, from eight questions five questions on five questions this elimination technique is applicable so five into two ten marks and on two questions it has backfired that means total you will get approximately 8.66 here total eight questions had, had been asked by upsc i have ignored one question because it is doubtful whether two pair correct or four pair correct what is the actual answer so i have analyzed seven questions from that seven questions five have revealed the positive outcome that is uh, that this element technique is applicable successfully uh, through probability model and on two questions it has backfired so the net score is eight that means from uh, suppose 14 marks you will get eight marks 8.66 so you can easily calculate the percentage so it, this is more than ever of the cutoff if you calculate in terms of percentage because nowadays upsc the actual cutoff of upsc prelim is below 100 so it is certainly greater than 50 percent so this was all about this elimination technique uh, you can go through this video again to get clarity so 
you may subscribe to this channel if if you have not subscribed yet to get more such video so thanks for watching